Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came Hey folks, this is Lord Kana and this is the continuation of XCOM Terror from the Deep and this is dealing with a down alien craft and joining me for this one again is the glorious Master Ian. Thank you for joining me, good sir. Hello. And glad Master Ian is playing uh, not only a cool wingman, but he's also uh, uh, has a wiki pulled up for us today. Thank you so much for having that. Okay. This hey, this this stunning weapon. Why do they always insist on in giving it to her? I mean, seriously. I don't know if I understand the AI behind the weapon association at all in this game. <laughs> it just gives it to who it wants to. Tell me about it. And here we go. Ready for this one? Yes, Siri. All right. Back under water. And we're in a different part of the ocean, because look, it's a lot darker. Yes, you the corner this time. Oh, boy. This is going to be... This is very uh, awesome sauce. By the way, I meant to say something last mission, uh, which is kind of kind of cruel to do to, to a character. But if you feel the character is not living up to your standards, and you think and they're wounded, what you can do is uh, remove the character from the craft, sell them, recruit another character, and Viola. You have no problem having a new recruit. <laughs> it that is pretty cruel. So if you feel like, say, right now we have Dark Eye as our person who's wounded. He's wounded for 17 days. Say we're not pleased with the way he's working, so we'll just we'll just call the character Dead Meat. Then we'll sell the character off, recruit another another soldier with this, uh, and give them the name of Dark Eye. Then uh, we'll have a new Dark Eye right from in there. There's no waiting. We'll like wait one day instead of uh, <laughs> 17. But. Be very careful at this point because uh, <laughs> if they fire one grenade at you, they're all dead. Yep, and that and that's just the risk you take. Oh, seriously, uh, it really is. This is the hardest kind of mission right here because now the aliens have all kinds of places to hide. Sadly. That's the reason we have the tank. Eventually, I'm going to uh, going to remove more personnel and put more tanks in here. Have like a set striking squad, and then have another base with uh, people in it that's another striking squad. So we can deal with multiple problems. Instead of having one strike force deal with it, we're going to have multiple. Whew, this is major nerve wracking, huh? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Sweet. You spit me right round, baby, right round. Hey, dude. Hmm? Would you mind doing all the fans and all of us cool people a favor? What? No more singing. Oh, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> you sound like a bagpipe gone bad. <laughs> oh, I can give you a bagpipe gone bad. <laughs> I think like this. <laughs> you sound like a cow. <laughs> Move. 
Maybe if Abraxas dies, I should replace him with a Minotaur. That would be awesome! Yeah. Minotaur would be yeah. awesome! I think they're based on the Scottish anyway in the D&D, because they're all clan-based. Yeah, that's very true. I was gonna do a Minotaur, but I decided to do our cleric for us. Go figure. I like, you know, I just like Warforges because that way I don't have to worry about eating, sleeping, or breathing, or anything weird. So... Uh, you got the same benefits as the shard mind. Yeah. But benefits as the shard mind, you can teleport now as well. Yeah, shard mines are fun. I love I love our shard mind just because because uh, because uh, we have that little detail. We like teleporting around the battlefield and just really pissing off the GM. <laughs> Most of us lost the DM is just the fact that we are shard. <laughs> Well, he don't like the fact that we keep teleporting around the battlefield in the most inopportune times. Like, encounter power, teleport. <laughs> in case people don't know, in case the other people don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about fourth edition D and D. We have a D and D group. Yep. And I'm the cleric part of it, but yeah. I love uh, the shard. Oh. I love our shard mines, specifically for the fact it is as well. They're shard mines. And we keep having psychic conversations with each other that no one else can hear. <laughs> God, it's so much fun. The alien just fired at us. So guess what? Oh, must be getting close. Yep. Hey, Why fire are we dealing with this time? This direction down here. Where's my tank? Tank. Find. Found. Let's see, where's he? Where, where's he closest to? Okay, see. Anybody else close? Sky Dancer is sort of close. See, I want the tank to find stuff for us, and then I want our people to kill him. That way they get the experience. Exactly, technically. The craft is down here, by the way. Now, if she doesn't hit, which she did not, and she's unable to escape, I'll use the tank to kill it. Because that's what the tank is for, is to eliminate the problem. Now, Josh has not done anything these missions, so I'm sending him in here. To he hasn't done course. anything, but good God, he's on a high rank. He's been yeah, he rates. is. Guess he uses DM powers. Yep. By his powers combined, he is Executor. Executor, Executor, Executor. Get back in your Pokeball, boy. That is still. I still play Pokemon White, and I dare anybody to ju uh, to judge me on that. I uh, have played lots of Pokemon White. So didn't like Pokemon Way, but I liked every other generation of the games. Lord Cat is taking his first shot, and he actually hit with one. <laughs> the oh, hey, that's none of us paying all. Yeah, the stamina god is actually on the move, which is awesome. Now, Sketch is going to take his shots with the uh, pistol Pistola, so let's see how good he is with Pistol it. power. Apparently, he prefers only heavy weapons. Yeah, I have to give it to this point. <laughs> He can't run, so anybody else close remotely? See, you can pull off those sort of epic shots you had, like in Miami, where you just shot the guy from across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it was right in the middle of the head. Was anyone hurt? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I blewed up stuff. Sorry. You blewed up stuff good. That was my fault. I thought I accidentally killed myself. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Where's Bicar and them? Oh no, they're way the hell up here. Yeah! <laughs> Whoops! Uh. Oh, here you are, way up here too. By chance, yeah, and this is just random. I'm very busy tonight. I feel like chicken dinner. Hold on. Uh.
Nope. Just thanks gotta do it. Well, I gave you everybody pot shots at it, but apparently that's not working. So we'll have to settle for the tank doing the job. So long, biznotch. Next turn. That's it. Huh. That oh, was well. very short. <laughs> <laughs> That was the small craft indeed, it was one hand! <laughs> yeah, really, no kidding. Okay. Gotta buy more jet missiles for this man. Oops, not too many. Yeah, 22. More workshop space! There you go! Workshop space takes 32 days?! Damn! That's what I said! And there's our torpedoes and stuff like that. Ooh. That's not how they came with the thermal shock launcher. If you sh stun a civilian, aliens ignore it. Yeah, I did that on my XCOM UFO defense detail. I sure did, and it worked out beautifully. Now, do you guys want me to sell off Dark Guy? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Dark, me. See, you did great. Sketch got a boost everywhere around. Comic Con, I know there's stamina boost. Jody got a stamina boost, health boost, Scott boost. He's not quite throwing our. Uh, bi Biker does. Oh hell yeah! You'll discover in um. X-Bomb Terror from the Deep, everybody, almost every character in the game has a throwing arm, except for a select few. All of them have ungodly throwing arms. Like God, God Stamina here, he also has a throwing arm. See, he also throws a throwing arm. Dark Eye has sort of a throwing arm. Sky Dancer has a throwing arm. Bad Mr. Pumpkin has a throwing arm. You do. Oh, God. The, Skitch if does it. He starts freaking things out. Me and Bad Mr. Pumpkin are fucking gone. <laughs> Bravery 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, the aliens don't use much psychic attacks right now, so we'll see. Oh boy. Wait. Research. Still unknown. Let's see, what can we sell out of that little batch of stuff, y'all? Not much. Hopefully we'll get some time of peace and we get our blaster rifles out here. Did you saw a Gilman corpse us? Did you get any longer? As long as you only have one corpse of each left, it should be fine. That's what I did. Okay. First, did they do to these things? No idea, but once we search them, they're getting sold. Sweet business. Hold on, the, hold on to your old butt. Here we go. So far, it's nine days in and nothing, which is, in my view, great and good and bad. Oh, and we got living quarters built. Sweet oh, scientists. That's true. We do. I know one more day. Twenty more. One. Not off loading space yet. Uh, I just know. Oh, I have one more day to go. <laughs> Whoops! There. <laughs> you got me excited. Sorry, I've missed one. Okay. Whoa, that's a little too much. There, ten more will be good. I don't want to totally go broke. Daddy likes money a little bit. You know, having a little bit may handy, because you may need to buy something. Yes. Well, we 12th should be of able February, to 13th of February. Get to be able to use the clips. Oh, hi. Now we're on average. Average. Yay! I'm just picking about saving. This is getting crazy. Oh, here we go. Yes! Now, what are we researching? 
No, don't bother with it. Okay, um... Where's this thermal shock launcher thing? The thermal shock launcher is... Oh, of course, the wiki isn't telling me, but I found it on the other one I was reading before. It's, um... It's a nice way of it, but you need more than one bomb to stun the suckers. Scare yep. You have to use double to stun people. So, if you research the Deep One Corpse, you get access to the... How about uh, the Deep One Terrorist? Um, but if you want to... It's not the terrorist. Okay, well, deep one corpse it is. Big ass for plastics you can research that. Okay, and then we got the Aquatoid, a soldier, gillman, and a terrorist all at the same time. Now, the blaster and the blaster power clip is what we can do. Here we go. I don't recommend building the clips because they re... Don't worry about it. I have that covered. As I said, do not concern over it that much. <laughs> <laughs> now the game's gonna get interesting. You should probably equip what you have of it here because I believe. Oh, we... trust me, I'm working on that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> we have nine of those. We only have 14 awesome. clips, though. Take them all anyway, take all the clips. That's one shot per each. Bye bye, harpoon guns. You will not be missed. <laughs> no kidding. I'm keeping the heavy gauze things just around just in case. I, yeah. Thank you, merciful God. So we at least got one shot apiece, so for the moment, those are going to be great. So this is just four now. Okay, very handy weapons overall. Good, then we'll use them. Another living quarters is ready to go. We have, so we we have, have more people to get. Huh? We have more room for people. Yay. Now. Whoop, not that many. Five, please. Because I gotta add some people in, and I forgot to add them in the last game because I didn't have any money. There's one sonic blaster. Take Zorbite up to. Now we need to produce some. We're gonna have to use the Zorbite. Give me ten. It just Zorbite is rare. The yeah, I know. No. It's rarer in the first game than it is in the second one. The second game's more generous with it, but... Okay, Ooh. let's see. Aqua Plastic. Shall we get that one Research now? that. And next, after that, uh... We'll do the armor. There should be the Aqua Plastic armor after that, or you should get it with the Aqua Plastics. Either way, you should be getting it soon. Okay. We're in February. Still. Okay, these are the and extra people. Have soldiers. Now these are not going inside the craft. Dark eye is. Mostly because we don't have any more room in the thing. Okay, one second. Just trust me. There's a reason I'm naming these people this. Hee hee hee. What? Think, 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 think. Okay. That's just for now. Okay, folks, stay tuned. Things are getting hot and heavy. Hope we hope we survive. This is Lord Commandant Mastery and saying have a good night all and God bless. See ya.